Okay, so for this question, what we get to deal with is another, we get another histogram, and they're asking, what's the frequency of the times the limit was exceeded by less than three items? So I don't want to include three, I got to go less than three. So what I'm seeing that this is the class that will contain three items, right? Um, and technically, let's see, it's, it's ten, I can't have 2.5 items and 3.5 items. So, you know, I would almost think a better way to label this histogram would be call this uh, well, one items, two items, three items, news like that is a class mark. But that, that's, that's not really where, what the question trying to ask. What it's trying to ask you is less than three. So here's three, there's two, there's one. So, and I guess they wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't be getting in a lane in the store if you had zero items. So that's why they didn't include zero. So, but all you got to do to find the frequency, because that's just the total counts, and this is a frequency histogram, is ask yourself, how high is this bar? And I see that bar is halfway between six and eight, so it must be seven. That would include one item. And then two items would be in that bar. So that's eight. And if you think about seven plus eight, that is indeed 15. As you can see, I've got the answer showing there. So that's how you do it, just to ask yourself what bars, what classes do you want, and then find the sum of them, as long as it's a frequency distribution. You have to pay attention to that. If that's a relative frequency distribution, we need, if we added up the bars, that would be the, like the percentages, and then we'd have to know how many, how many in the total size, total sample size. Okay, hope that helps you answer this question.